another video. My name is Shawnee. If you are here for the first time, then welcome love. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Today I have just a get it all done with me video. Um, I just did our bulk shopping. We try to bulk shop every other month. So we never know what happens and things get a little crazy sometimes and life happens and then you don't get to the store. So we have staple items and I will kind of just briefly go through those. Um, I know that a lot of y'all like to just kind of see what is in our pantry, what's in our freezer and all of those good things. So as y'all can see, I have a lot of things that I need to put up and organize. We're also going to do some laundry. Um, we're also going to do some cleaning and all that good stuff. I like to do these. I like to pick one day a week. And for me, it's Thursdays, which is typically my networking day, my just shiny day, get some shiny time, mommy time, if you will. Really, it's not a day of rest for me. It is a day to catch up, reorganize, reset my mind, and just make sure that I have everything that I need going into the next week. I know that y'all are like, well, that's kind of early to do that. But listen, I've been doing this routine for probably about four or five months now, and it has been amazing, okay? It really helps me to just kind of refocus, recenter, get grocery shopping done and I still will go to the grocery store my husband and I will go to the grocery store probably Sunday just to pick up things that like perishables so fruit bread things that will kind of spoil uh, really quick but bulk stuff I love doing that on Thursdays and then just getting the house reorganized and set before the weekend happens because on the weekends typically I still do a little bit of work Saturday mornings, which, you know, I love, right? Because it's pretty much a calm day. People are at home and whatnot. And then I just love to rest after that. So if y'all heard that beeping, that was the oven. I'm multitasking right now. So I'm getting some things ready for the kids when they get home. Um, but yeah, so Thursdays is my day. Uh, pick a day where you could just kind of get all the odd and end things done, trust me, you will thank me. All right, y'all, without further ado, like, share, and subscribe, and let's hop right in. So before I get started, I wanna fix myself one of my famous smoothies, and I will share a recipe in the description box, so be looking for that. It's super simple but I feel that it gives me energy and it's super healthy for you. All right, loves, so we have our sweet teriyaki chicken right here and I love cooking this with mac and cheese with broccoli on the side and the kids love that as well. Then we have some organic blueberries and strawberries because as you know, if you've been following me, we absolutely love our shakes. I will uh, put a little recipe in the description box below of what I like to put in mine, which is like my staple shake right now. And then honey roasted, turkey breast. Uh, we eat those every now and then, you know, for quick sandwiches, DiGiorno pizza, and then our garlic toast which we love eating with our spaghetti. This is so good, y'all. Cole's Garlic Texas Toast, so, so good. And then seasoned croutons. We love putting these, uh, smashing these up and putting them in our meatballs because we make homemade meatballs. If y'all are interested in um, just watching a video of me cooking our famous shiver spaghetti, then let me know below. And let me know also, have you ever tried to make homemade meatballs? I know it was a little overwhelming when I first did it, but pretty straightforward and simple now. We do it all the time. And then this was the PB Fit that I showed you earlier in the video. 
our ground turkey. And since we have a deep freezer, I typically get six little bundles of these. And this lasts us actually for like a month and a half because we typically cook one of these bundles a week, depending on the meals. And since there's two little trays in here, we're able to cook two different meals. So that's really, really good. And as you can see, I have one thawing out for tonight's dinner. And then those are the masks. And then of course our lemon juice right here, which we love putting in our water because we drink a lot of water and so do the kiddos. It's something simple, it kind of makes it fun, but of course we know drinking a lot of water just kind of keeps you hydrated and especially with everything going on, you wanna stay hydrated. I found these little limited edition heart-shaped Cheerios. Aren't they so cute? So my kiddos love Honey Nut Cheerios and so I went ahead and picked up a box of those. This double pack from Sam's typically lasts them a couple of months because they don't eat cereal every single morning. They try to switch it up. And then our avocado. We absolutely love this. I know my oldest eats it straight out of the pack. She loves avocados and I'm so happy she does because it's so, so rich in all the good fats for you. And then of course our toothbrush heads. We've had our toothbrushes, the bottom part of it for, I wanna say three years, y'all. Listen, we have saved so much money. These little guys are about 40 bucks at Sam's. However, the toothbrush, we used to go through toothbrushes all the time consistently, and this has paid for those toothbrushes over and over again uh, before we got those electric toothbrushes. And then we love getting this chicken breast for chicken salad, and then of course, we put, uh, we like eggs in ours. We don't go too crazy with it. We season it real good and we put our amazing, let me show you our mayo. I've shown y'all this before. And actually you can get this at Target, but this is the mayo that we use. And we have used this for about three years now. And it is so much better for you than the regular mayonnaise. So that's really, really good. And then our Cetaphil lotion. I cannot say enough about this lotion, y'all. We absolutely love it. Uh, this lotion, we do have um, just minor eczema and it's only during the winter time when the weather starts changing, uh, does it start acting up a little bit. And so this has really helped for us to not have breakouts like we used to. So I definitely stock up for those. And this was only about 15 bucks per little container. And you, then you get a little one at the top as well. And then we're gonna try this hand soap that's right here. It actually was on clearance at Sam's. So, but they're 14 ounces. And I just wanted to try something different. That's it, you know, it wasn't really a reason why uh, we were getting new hand soaps, but it was like seven bucks for all three of these and people said that they were pretty, pretty good. So I wanted to try it out, so I got two of those. So that should last us for a while. Okay guys, so since this is a thing now and part of wardrobes for God knows how long, I went ahead and purchased some new masks from Sam's Club. I got some for my oldest daughter and husband and then some for Zane. So these have a soft lining inside and so I think they'll like these a little bit better. So yeah, and they were only about $6 per pack and you get one, two, three, four, oh, six. So about a dollar a piece, not too bad. So I'll wash those up and then replace some old ones. All right, loves. So that was it for my little brief food haul, okay? Now we're gonna put all of this stuff away and then I'm gonna take some time and relax before I have to go pick up the kiddos. <laughs> Thank you.
So here are a few of the things that I love putting into my smoothies. These are so, so good for you and I will have them linked down below. So I love doing at least one or two loads a day. I know that it seems like a lot, but trust me, if I wait a whole week to wash, then I am washing for hours, typically on the weekend, and I will never make that mistake again. So I always do at least one load a day, and that just helps me stay on top of the clothes and just keeps everything pretty much intact and the bathrooms from going out of control. Right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss
To clean out our bathroom sinks, I usually just take uh, one of our blue scrubbers that we would use in the kitchen and I designate these scrubbers for our bathrooms. This really does get our sinks nice and clean. So if you're looking for a simple, inexpensive way to just kind of keep daily maintenance on those sinks from all the toothpaste, this is definitely a great idea. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that, that you miss me. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I So as you can see, the kiddos made it home and I still was not finished with my to-do list. Um, this was really a huge overhaul today. On this particular day, there were a lot of things that I needed to catch up on. And so it ran right into the evening. Um, it had already been about six hours since I had been cleaning, washing, and just putting away the food and all of those good things. So sometimes mama life is just like that. So mamas, if y'all are out there and y'all are watching this video, y'all are doing an amazing job. We definitely do a lot. And so I wouldn't change it for the world, but just give yourself grace sometimes. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to get there. I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me.
sometimes it doesn't matter what I have in the oven or on the stove when the kiddos get home. Uh, baby boy always, without fails, want two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> so this is almost like a ritual in our house when he gets home. And so today he actually tried to help me make his peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I'm so grateful for. He is almost six, and so he will uh, very shortly be making his own PB&J, but sometimes you have to pick your battles. Either you're going to let them make it, or you're going to spend the time cleaning up after them. So we're still trying to find that sweet balance. If any of you have any tips on that, then definitely comment below. So many of you know that I use these natural products. Um, they are actually like 10% product, 90% water, which I absolutely love. And I've also mentioned that I have seen a tremendous difference in our home allergies, um, my asthma, and all of those things since switching and converting our home um, a little over a year ago. And so that has been um, really, really nice. Uh, some of you have also ordered your own products, which y'all are loving and y'all have said that y'all have seen some differences. So I'm gonna show you how I make this solution. I actually conveniently <laughs> ran out uh, just now. And so this one is our, um, our disinfectant spray. And so I'm gonna simply show you how far I fill up the concentrated solution and then I'll fill the rest up with water.
so about a couple of years ago, I started cutting my husband's hair and my son's hair. I am not a licensed barber, but I think I do a pretty decent job. And with the way that things have gone lately, I'm so glad that I just kind of took the plunge and they trust me to do this. Uh, For many years, my husband didn't, but you know, practice makes better. And so um, I've been cutting his hair for about actually three years now. And so since we moved, thank God we have um, amazing barbers where we now live. And so he will definitely uh, go to the shop when he can. But when they can't, um, I am Mama Barber to the rescue. I need that. Take it all in now. I see what I'm asking for is just some space and some time. Then I'll be all right. I've been having thoughts in my mind. I can't get up. Tell me things I can't say myself from you. This is his favorite part of getting his hair cut is getting his hair washed. He loves when we wash his head. It relaxes him. I so wish this worked on my girls. But of course, mamas, you know, if you wash hair, then that is a whole different story entirely. (laughs) So hopefully uh, one day soon we'll be able to send them to the shop as well. much for hanging out with me today uh today was a pretty crazy day there were a lot of different things that i needed to get done and honestly listen mamas y'all know that there was so much more that went on behind the scenes that i did not even get to finish i do still have laundry that i need to finish folding um, but we're gonna go ahead and end this video right here uh y'all listen i want y'all to stay beautiful stay bold uh listen everything that you are doing it matters and never forget that i created this platform life with shawnee to just create positive vibes for all you out there for everybody for mamas for daddies for aunties uncles sisters cousins everybody i just want this to be a platform of just good vibes always okay while i do not have everything all together i am not perfect trust me um, and i try to relay that in the videos this is reality for me okay um, i don't get all dressed up <laughs> to get in front of the camera because when i am at home this is me and so this is um just how it is you know i love just being as authentic as possible i love encouraging um, other individuals to just become the best versions of themselves 
that's what we should strive to do every single day. Uh, my life is simple but extraordinary. Um, I love it. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And as I continue to build um, this platform and just grow, I want y'all to continue to grow with me. Thank you so much for everyone who is continuing to support me, uh, support us, um, support our family brand, which is Shivers Empire, which you can find as well um, here on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, we will start building on that channel very soon. There, so be looking for those things. Uh, listen, I love y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one, love. Bye.